<laughs> so, all right, we here with Zach. I uh, almost called you Zach Stein. We here. With, <laughs> we here with Zach Martina. Hey guys, I'm here with Zach Martina. I'm gonna cook. It should have been prepared already, but I was coming from San Diego. I'm cooking king crab legs, zucchini, assorted potatoes. What did we just go in there and get? Some mussels. And mussels. And mussels. Hopefully, it should be good. All I'm really doing is heating the stuff up. No special recipes. So, all right. I haven't got the stuff on. Zach has got to go. I was gonna cook stuff individually. I put it all in one pot. I'm cooking like my daddy. He just would put stuff in a pot. It didn't matter if it went together or not. This thing is essentially a meth lab. <laughs> all right, so, Zach. Ron. Right on. So how long have you been doing comedy? I'll be five years this year. And I know you from Michigan, of Michigan. course. Detroit. Hashtag Detroit comedy. When you came yeah. in, like, you came in hot. I mean, I came in hustling. Okay. I didn't want to. I didn't want to just go do open mics, you know, like as a hobby. I wanted to do something with it. I wanted to see if I could do it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let's get it done. Yeah. I remember people was talking about you. It was like, man, this guy Zach Martina got a lot of energy on stage. That's right. And did you ever do like theater? No. No. I didn't put this crab in because I didn't want to, you know, mess it up. So I'm putting it in now. All right, hold that thought. This stuff smell like it's on too high right now. Every. How much time we got? Okay, we have 140. We got to be somewhere by two. I don't have time to let it simmer. We got to <laughs> <laughs> You came out here for a week. You got a manager? Yeah. What's it between a manager and an agent? Do you have an agent? Uh, I can tell you that I enjoy my manager a lot more, mainly because she's awesome, but also because I don't have an agent, so I have no idea what they do. That's funny. How are you on the road the most? So when you're out on the road, what's the thing What's the, I don't know, the, the, the way in which you get on the road most often? How are you Sending on the road? emails, making okay. phone calls, uh, sending clips, trying to network with other comics to get some references to get into spots, and mm -hmm. just hustling, man. That makes sense. My, my mentality is like, if you, do, if you don't at least try, then it's a definite no. Like, yeah. the worst that somebody can tell you is no, and then you move on to the next one. But if you yeah. don't try, then you never know. When are you plan on moving out here? I'm willing to move out here to Los Angeles, but my wife and kids, man, we got a good thing going back in Michigan. Cause you how old? Thirty. And you've been married? Uh, I've been married for a few months, but I've been with my wife for three years. You know what's crazy? That I was getting ready to say, why'd you get married so young? I don't know why I thought <laughs> you're a kid or something. No, I got married just before I turned 30. Which is when it's supposed to happen. But I'm over here like, what? You got married? Why would you so young? But Did that's when you should do it. I'll go on record and say that she's way hotter than you deserve. I Absolutely. <laughs> I saw I was like, she's that's her? It's that hustle, man. You gotta get, throw yourself out there. Do you think that being married has helped your comedy at all? Yeah. It's helped my writing immensely because mm. now I'm writing about things that I love, whereas when I started comedy, I was just this single guy. I had nothing to write about except, oh, I'm going to go out to the bar, I'm going to drink. Mm. Like, now I'm talking about my kids, and I'm talking about my wife, and I'm talking about things that I love to do, right. love to spend time with, you know? Has it hurt it at all? In no. any way? No, because my wife, she's super understanding, so I get to get out on the road and do what I got to do and jump on all sorts of last-minute opportunities. You get two kids. Two kids, five and a three-year-old. Wow. Brand new dad. Brand new dad. How's it feel? It feels like I'm being trusted with way more than I should be trusted with. <laughs> All right, let me get this stuff because we got even less time now. So I don't know if this stuff ready or not, but you know, we I got, got that was late. I would go to a show late, but white people don't do that. Nope. Most people that live in their van, it probably smells like ass. I try to keep the smells right for when the ladies come by, which they don't. It's that hustle, man. So now we gonna cook with it right by me. Do you ever think like, damn, I don't want to do this? Or am I really trying to do this? I'm too far in now. I did a bunch of office jobs. I mean, I worked in corporate America. It mm. sucked. Until I stopped getting booked or until I feel like I stopped progressing as a comic, I'm not stopping. Mm. I've quit way too many things. I hope I don't quit my marriage and I hope I don't quit comedy. You hope? Hope's super optimistic. <laughs> Don't hope on I mean, camera. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Jesus Christ. He's supposed Keep to say, hope alive. He's supposed to say, I know. I mean, I had a pretty good feeling. That's why <laughs> I married her. <laughs> and that's funny, because you say I hope, and you'll probably stay together forever. 
Yeah. Black people be like, oh, I know I ain't getting divorced. <laughs> and we don't get divorced, we just split up. <laughs> oh, I miss the good old days of like Hee Haw and the Lawrence Welk show. Rice, let me over somebody, please. All right, let's do it. Let's let's eat, man. All right, let's eat. He's a clean Thanks, towel man. for you. Right now, you got a beard. That makes sense, too. Just go in there and make a plate, man. Trump scares me more than anything I've ever been scared of. Black potatoes, purple potatoes, whatever. I'm gonna make some butter. I don't know how this is gonna taste. All right, time to dine. Ending product. Time to dine. So how do I get into these fucking legs, dude? First of all, don't poke yourself. Okay. Uh, you should be able to just kind of just tear them open and then just come out like that there. Okay. Damn, you got a big one. That was very gay, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was even gay for a gay man to say. Got that out. My first try. I, um, yeah. How is it? Food trucks in LA ain't got nothing on you, man. Yeah, This is really good, though, man. This is impressive. As far as van cuisine, though, this is the best I've ever had. <laughs> is it the only you've ever had? <laughs> yeah, it's the only I've ever had. <laughs> Any more kids for you? I won't say yes and I won't say no. If it happens, I'll be thrilled about it. I'm not trying for it. That's a weird answer. I have two that I love. Like, I, I don't need any more. Like, I love those girls so much. They're my favorite people in the world outside of my wife. It, it ain't broke, man, so I'm not gonna try and fix it. And if a third one comes, then uh, I'm thrilled about it. I love my life right now. I think you're a little too happy, man. And I think secretly you do something awful. Ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Muffin! Muffin, <laughs> shut up back there! Man, this stuff is all right. It was good, man. Go at it, there's more. I think I'm gonna grab just a little bit. Ron, thanks for having me, man. Thanks for lunch. You're welcome, brother. Take it easy. We're gonna continue to eat. Do the outro now. We'll just do it while we're eating. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. So that's it. I don't know if any of this was good. I'm as sure you're gonna edit together like a whiz. Much like the food tastes good, I think that the video will come out fine. This will conclude whatever I end up naming this show. Dining with Van. Right. Dining with, <laughs> dining with Ron. That probably won't stick. But anyway, all right. The working title. It's that hustle, man. You gotta get, throw yourself out there.